Hello. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Ask your questions, but keep it short. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them, but given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Ask your questions, but keep it short. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long.
patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish what, for a ranger that's looked at me and I just about surrendered. With Mr. House dead and gone, Vegas can finally join the NCR. that no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. Morning. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. He isn't. I already checked there this morning. We were supposed to meet up here about an hour ago. I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Still no luck finding my friend. He better show up soon. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Hello. Those free side thugs aren't worth our time anymore. Nuclear winner. Morning. Seeds of the territories are about to blow up. I hear we straightened up a band of thugs in free side. Those. Khan's got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. It seems that the territories are about to blow up. Beings are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Morning. Things are getting stranger every day. Our rangers are gonna show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Things are getting stranger every day. With Mr. House dead and gone, Vegas can finally join the NCR. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood.
I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. We need to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. Kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR. So I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Bye-bye. I'm looking forward to seeing the president. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you, friend? Nope. Haven't noticed anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here, and he has a good nose for these things. 
Not since the last time you asked, no. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. I brush it every day. 100 brushes. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. I don't know about that. You know what? I think it's best if he stays with me. Bye. You're clear to go on through. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Like our, our mighty Sierra, Sierra Nevada, they, they endured. 
But the time came and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago they called out for help, and the Red Republic heard them. Troopers, rangers just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and women stepped forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, we made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten years ago, Chief Elise met with representatives of the Desert Rangers to discuss terms of what would become the Rangers Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is Nevada to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. We must always remember that wherever Californians stand, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect, representation, and protection under the laws of a just republic. This was the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization, torchbearers eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called on the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, You answered. Together you carry the weight. And when E.F.C. Watson's platoon came under attack that forlorn hope, he took the greatest risk. Not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our Republic, even here, on Nevada soil. His actions are a beacon to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his power. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfilled the promise we made to the Desert Rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carried the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years, Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's just get fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? You think I want to get shot at all?
Good job today. We got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. <laughs>